Right. So, so there you're pushing the limits of my theory, right? So every theory has its limits and, and you're pushing the limits of mine. And, and I would certainly agree that that's a, a, an important question. The way I would put it is this, the, the mathematics I use is I have this infinite Markov chain. So mm -hmm. we're, we're dealing with infinity. We're dealing with as stuff that we talked about is difficult to understand. And then it has this infinite trace logic on it. And all the traces are different consciousnesses that are looking at, the, so they're not separate. It's interesting, the observer and the observed are not separate. What you're observing is the infinite observer, which is observing itself through different windows, but there's a whole logic of them. So, and, and then there's an infinite number of these infinities. So if you want to call it God, there's not just one infinite God in this picture. There's an infinite number of these in this mathematical model. But isn't so, it very so, all right? But isn't it very convenient to just keep using the word infinite because it gets you off the rat of actually having to explain any of these things? Well, it, I would say it points to the limits of my theory, right? So the, what you do with science is you, your assumptions are what you're putting down is to say this is where my theory stops, this is where my explanation stops. So I'm stopping with an infinite consciousness that I can describe with a Markov chain. If you, so I say if you grant me that then lo and behold, I can give you space time. And I give you this new trace logic and I get space time. And I think I'll give you quantum field theory and the, and the whole bit. So, but of course, then the next question will be, so we get that all nailed down. Suppose we show that we can get space time as a special case. Then, uh, then your question would be the very next, next thing I would do mm -hmm. as a scientist. It's not the first thing I'm gonna do because I have to make sure this is even worth my time, right? I have to make sure that this assumption of an infinite beginning will give me the space time physics that we know and love but you're right never now. going to be able to comprehend what infinite beginning means because there is no beginning to infinity i suspect that you're right um well i'm right. some meditative traditions may may say that if you can let go of all thoughts and be in complete silence maybe you are finding yourself in that infinity but but yeah, but I, 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 that, that, okay, now you're slightly losing me. Well, I just have to sit here silently and infinity suddenly becomes obvious because it doesn't. I can shut my eyes and sit here meditating in total silence and I'm still going to be thinking the idea of an infinity is absurd. And when you start talking about the, a beginning of an infinity, well, that doesn't exist. So there's no beginning and no end. None of it makes sense. And I, I'm quite a sort of logical person. I like things to, mm -hmm. I like common sense, right? And I don't think that you can give the answers I need from with my logical head, which make me think you're onto something concrete. I think it's something you you imagine. I mean, it may be you're living personally in quite mm -hmm. a virtual reality. I'm quite happy to accept that, but I'm not sure <laughs> I'm living in your virtual reality because you haven't persuaded me. Because you can't answer the fundamental questions. And I say this very respectfully, because you know a lot, lot more about this stuff than I do. But just with my simple logical brain, I just don't think... If you can't tell me what infinity really is or why it has no beginning and end, and then there's infinite number of infinities and so on, infinite number of gods potentially for each infinity or whatever, ultimately it comes down to what... Well, I don't know what infinity means because it makes no sense. Therefore, I can't really take the next move to your calculations about what we're living in because the initial well, premise seems very flawed to me. 